Okay. Ready to start decorating the box. Um, I'm going to show you how to put a couple of images on, then show you a couple of techniques you can use inside the program itself. So the first one I need to do is I need to bring in. Um, the first thing I want is Lou Gehrig's signature. So I've got a copy of Lou Gehrig's signature with no background on it. Uh, I click OK, and it says, well, how big do you want it to be? Well, three centimeters seems to be OK. That's around about the width of the box. That's fine. So there's the signature. I want also to bring in the picture of Blue Gehrig himself with no background. And again, three centimeters is fine. Um, it'll come up with that or whatever you type in there. And that looks around about the right size if it's onto the box. Maybe slightly bigger, but that looks okay. What I want on the front of my box is I want there to be a set of stripes which matches the New York Yankees uniform. And I'm going to use the contour tool to draw some straight lines next to each other. Now, the first ones I'm going to draw are 0.35, 3.5 millimeters away from the edge. Now, you do have to think quite carefully about making things look balanced. The color is blue, so I'm going to draw one line there and one line there. And then to make everything fit really neatly, because that's what we're after, I'm now going to change down to 0.3. I'm putting it from either side. And there we go. So what I want in there next is I want the picture of Lou himself. I'm going to put him around about there on the box. Now, there's a problem. If I zoom in, what I appear to have done is put Lou Gehrig into jail, which wasn't really what I was intending to do. And that's because the image of him is behind the lines. So I need to click on the image of Lou Gehrig himself. It sometimes can be slightly tricky to get hold of him. And I need to go to edit and arrange and I need to bring him to the front. Problem now is even though I went for an image with no background, the background seemed to have been put back in. That's okay, go to bitmaps and beg your pardon, haven't clicked on the picture itself. Go to bitmaps and set transparent background. Now don't worry if it starts looking like he's got little blue bits on him, that's just the nature of the program. I now want his signature to go across the bottom and sort of going up onto the picture and again I've got the same problem which is the fact that it's got a transparent background and it appears to be behind him so I want that to go in front so edit and arrange and bring to front if I zoom out and refresh that that should look okay I know it looks like there's a problem with the lines, but actually when it comes up, there isn't. So I've now got, on the side of it, I've got a picture of Garrick with a signature going up across him, and the lines should be disappearing behind him. I can also colour sections in, so if I want to colour the two side panels in, just in a nice beige colour, the colour is here, so fill would be solid. I want a solid colour. I pick the colour I want, and I want a nice sort of kind of beige colour. So I can pick a nice sort of brownie colour down here somewhere. That looks okay to me. Click OK. An island is any bits I want to leave blank inside that rectangle. No, nope, I'm happy with that being blank. I'm happy with that being blank. So I've put colour in, I've put lines in, and I've put images onto the 